I haven't experienced the terror of these 9, 10, 11 year olds in Sephora yet. The drunk elephant section at my Sephora is still nice and stocked and neat. And it doesn't really affect me too much because I get my skincare from Target, which we'll come back to, by the way. But like this brain rot, head empty, no thoughts, 10 year old girl, like <laughs> with the Stanley Cup. That's not new. Um, that's not a new thing. I'm a 90s child and I grew up with those girls, that same aesthetic, those same, those, the same behavior. And remember, they had the same entitlement, the same spoiled attitude, you know, the, they were bullies to adults, they were bullies to girls their age. One of them pushed me down a flight of stairs because I kept beating her in ping pong. Anyway, do you know what they all had in common? <gasps> quick, quick, bad parents. I remember how their moms were. They seemed so just annoyed, honestly, to have a child. They seemed bored. They were just like, oh, just do whatever you want. I don't care. Like it seemed like they would probably give them whatever they want as long as it got them to shut the fuck up. So whatever the equivalent of like messing up the drunk elephant section in Sephora and Ulta was, and like running around being a terror, demanding money, demanding their parents' credit card. They did that too. With whatever fucking products we had back then in the 2000s, they did that shit then. Cause I'm sorry, but can we just be so fucking for real? Why are we acting like these credit cards just materialize into these 10 year olds' hands? Where did they come from? Where did the buying power of these children come from? The uh, fucking parents. I know, I don't know what it's like to be a parent and it's so hard and it's this, this and that and screen time. Of course we give them screen time. Screen time is easier. Listen, it's not the screen time because as a 90s child, I also had hella screen time. Let's stop acting like we didn't have fucking screen time. I was watching hours of Cartoon Network, okay? I was, <laughs> I was on MySpace for fucking hours, HTML coding. I was on the Cartoon Network uh, website playing that Tom and Jerry catch the cheese game for hours. I was playing Teen Titans Battle Blitz. <laughs> it's not the screen time. It's the simple fact that when capitalism also had a chokehold on me as a child, and I'm watching, you know, all these commercials and stuff of things that I, I, you gotta have because that's what makes you cool. And then I asked my mom for it. Uh, she would say no. I get upset, would I get emotional, would I throw a tantrum? First of all, I don't think that I was ever in a place where I felt like it was okay, especially at the age of 9, 10, or 11, to throw a tantrum with my mother. All the rest of these girls were out here screaming at their mom by their first name. My mom, as a parent should be, was a gatekeeper to what I was allowed to have, to what I was allowed to put on my face. I was limited to an eyeshadow that was like sparkly and all I could do was like the euphoria look back in 2003, okay? The only brand name skincare that I got near that age was proactive because I started breaking out. It didn't work. Parent your children. Parent them, please. There is no reason why a 10 year old should be demanding to spend money on 50, $80 products when I, whom on red carpets all the time, by the way, get all of my skincare at Target. Oh, you don't know how hard it is to be a parent, you know, economy, blah, 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 blah. You don't know, yeah, I, I, I don't know. But I am the child of a parent who came up in poverty in very, very bad times with, again, limited resources, limited time. And my mother, who was not perfect for all her faults, still found time to be a parent. Regardless of the situation, all I know is that that is your child. It's not a puppy. And I don't know if you knew this, but they were never gonna stay a child forever. It's not a dog that you can just keep on giving treats. This child is gonna grow up into an adult one day, and your job is to make sure that they can go out and do that without being a menace to everyone around them. And it seems like, judging by the vast volume of these little 10-year-old demon children, a bunch of you are failing. Capitalism has been around for a while and capitalism is always gonna capitalism. Capitalism is always gonna switch up its way in which it girl bosses itself into our hearts and minds and tries to make us feel like we need stuff. And forever, 
No matter how that changes, no matter how that evolves, it is your job as a parent to set those boundaries for your child. I don't think it's just capitalism. I don't think it's just the screen time. I think it's mom and dad. Well,